<laughs> I think that worked. Oh, yep. There we go. Aha. Can't tell if my audio is fine, but I trust Joe will show up and tell me that. Excellent. <sighs> Hello, mostly to Joe and Abby. Quantum break. Um, before we start, I was smart and uh, let me double check the subtitles. I was smart and uh, let's see, uh, VSync Retinas uh, subtitles. Oh no, I almost forgot. I almost forgot to turn on the subtitles. Okay, now the subtitles are on. Uh, but anyway, there are TV episodes in the game and they change based on my choices, which is, I think, a bold and wild choice that I understand why no one else has done it. But it included real actors from recognizable TV and movie franchises. It wasn't just like some devs doing it, which would have been cool on its own. Um, so yeah. Um, give Joe another minute here. Hello, Joe. All right. Abby has lab. She'll come in later and catch up. We'll play normal. <laughs> Hidden quantum ripples. Interesting. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We're just starting right with it, huh? After a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. We're starting full on, huh? Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Bold. Let's just start at the beginning. Starting that way. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Oh, that's interesting. That guy, the cabbie, was initially in the reveal going to play the main character and then he got demoted and then he's the same actor who plays hey thanks for the ride the brother in control does that mean anything i don't know it could it's freaking remedy you'd been away for 6 years paul and i had kept in touch but well not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Well, that's a saunter. Mm, it's a little, little artifacty. Paul, Jack, you just got to the campus. Where are you? God is good. <laughs> Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul right. has been a showman. Okay. We're going to fix both of these things. Game quiet. We make game louder. And we drop resolution. It's 720p. No. We'll drop it to 1080. 
That should take care of it. Ooh. Well, that's much better. That's vaguely ominous. It's from the future. All right, what's this? Protester flyer. Monarch Solutions wants to tear down the pride of Riverport University. It's part of our heritage, but they don't care. Save the library. Okay, let's see. Can review pages? Game's timeline menu. Oh, of course we have a timeline menu. So that's. Okay. So that's our part one. We're in part one. We discovered 6% of the stuff. Okay. Weird. Hello, students. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Hey, hey you go, it's Bobby you Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Of course we got Ready radios. Midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or maybe you're asleep. I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot going down in downtown tonight. Now, unless you're at the Riverport University campus, where the protest against Monarch Solutions is still going on. You see, Monarch wants to knock down the old campus library and put up a brand new building. The protesters are saying that building's a part of our heritage, and we don't need Monarch gobbling up yet another bit of Riverport. Personally, I'm with the activists on this one. I'm sure Monarch's new building will be big and shiny, but well, come on, who gives a shit? I love that old library, even if it is kind of falling apart. I like things with character. The Monarch hell. They've got all the character of a brand new smartphone. Sure, call me a hipster, whatever. I just think you don't have to be a smug douchebag with organic sneakers and an ironic NASCAR cap to prefer a nice corner restaurant with personality to yet another Olive Garden, you know? Still. Much as it pains me to say this, I think this is a done deal. Monarch's gonna take that library down tomorrow, no matter what we say. I don't know why there's not so subtitles. Pack it up and go home, get ready for the next fight. Because you know, they aren't done with our town yet, right? I keep forgetting also that this game is like from 2016. And also before they were a, uh, a full on. Protests seem like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. Full on, like, triple A ish studio, so. I keep expecting the visuals to be a little higher quality, but. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Sure, I'll ask you. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? <laughs> uh, that's quite an opener. Good, because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Go on. Tell me more. Go oh. ahead. Check out the chart. Oh. Over here. I see. Okay. Monarch Problems. Selling Riverport since 1999. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. Okay. For what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm. To push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city, and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Okay. Hey, Shade. I gotta meet my friend, but I keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. Uh, okay, so. Bought all the major tech and security companies in Riverport using earnings from Shady Investments in 99. 
evading questions regarding evaded questions as to who actually ran Monarch, bought out all the major media outlets. Questions stopped being asked. Bought Gull Island, tore down a war monument to construct R and D facilities. In two thousand eight, demolished train station to build Monarch Tower. 2010, bought the entire industri industrial district and dry docks. And now in 2016, they want to build a new research facility here. I mean, they are mad sketch, and I think probably there's ground for a uh, for an antitrust lawsuit on them. What do we have here now? It's not a lake. <gasps> it's an ocean. He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. That's Sam Lake. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Well, that's Alan Wake 2 right there. All of us have two faces. The one we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Hold on. In the in, into the Alan Wake 2 trailer, he talks about m stories having multiple faces. They were already writing the freaking game that's coming out not this year, but next year, maybe... In 2016, they already had had all that worked out. What the heck, Sam Lake? Also, Alex Casey is the name of his of Alan's fictional character. So, is Alan going into his fictional character's universe, or is Alan? Did Alan make? him come true in this universe or does that is that distinction without difference paul had always been hungry for success driven he made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists and now he was coordinating some huge project at the university it's a big deal for him hey protests over at home not why i'm here chief holster that safety whistle prick Where's your uniform? Excuse me. That's the correct response, Joe. I've been in shit enough to smell insecurity. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Liam Burke, <laughs> a monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. This narrative structure of, of, of our time traveler telling me, that's also true, Joe. That's a, that's a, that's such a clearly distinctly possible possibility that it's insulting to the senses. Um, but this narrative structure of, of 
a time traveler telling me the end of the story, then starting at the beginning, but then telling me stuff from the middle. What kind of nut job writes a video game this way? Alright, we got a memorial for Dr. Henry Kim. Died in 2016. In February at the age of 50, praised to for his tireless devotion to his field and his students. Uh, both Dr. William Joyce and Dr. Elton Meyer whose research effort eventually led to the discovery of the Meyer-Joyce field, were his students. So our friends, who is the villain's professor mentor, died the year of the game. Okay. He later made a name for himself as the director of Monarch Solutions Physics Research Division. While maintaining this position, he also contributed heavily to research here, including of the Project Promenade, based on his students' discoveries, which can, he continued to work on until the time of his death. Okay. So, Dr. Kim seems like a chill dude. Hmm. Now we got Paul. Not exactly modest, are we, Paul? Let's see. Project Director. Track record of extremely profitable business ventures behind him. Paul Serene joined Riverport University in 2010 to head one of the most significant research or significant physics research projects at the U the university has ever seen. The youngest project director in the history of the university, and by far the most successful to date, his involvement has encouraged a flood of high-profile investments that resulted in the extremely ambitious yet unrevealed quantum physics project referred to as Project Promenade. In his own words, I am not a scientist myself, thus it may come as a surprise to many that I fought to obtain the position as project director development project director development that seems weird here at the university for me it's a dream come true growing up my best friend was the brother of renowned quantum physicist William Joyce I've always been fascinated by William's work and his publications from 97 to 99 were groundbreaking for the scientific community. As a businessman, I've been able to help shape a path to create practical applications for William's work by building the foundation he created with a group of immensely talented physicists. Building on the foundation. That was the basis of Project Promenade, and the results have been absolutely revolutionary. His favorite sports team is the Riverport Rexes. You can see him at the front row of every game. That's good to know. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. That's the little finger. Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. Oh, in a case you didn't this recognize way. our main character, Joe. To the project lab. Jinxie from uh, First Class. Thank you for that. From Stop Warehouse 13. Van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Ooh, look at the computer. Incident? Jesus, Will, what do you do this time? All right, I asked and we've got confirmation from our supervisor that Dr. William Joyce's security clearance needs to be revoked. Yo, Paul, you think you got enough space here? Well, you know, Put your chatter so types need somewhere to practice our putting. Um, so yeah, the time for termination is scheduled for 4.20 a.m., October 9th, precisely. No idea why that exact time must be a contract thing. The guy was on consulting on the promenade, but he lost his shit in front of investors a few days ago. I was the one dragging him out. It got pretty crazy. There, he was yelling about how some lady... Oh, okay. <laughs> Good, you could tell. Uh, he was yelling about some... I promise. How some lady warned him this would happen. Just hold on, little finger. Just hold on, little finger. 
He was yelling about how some lady warned him this would happen. No idea what the hell he was about. It was up to me. I'd cut his clearance immediately, but screw it. They don't want my advice. I don't get involved in any of that monarch stuff anyway, so let's just do our jobs. Keep an eye on Dr. Joyce until then. Don't feel too bad about it. I hear the guy actually stole some video game from the break lounge or something, so maybe we don't want him running around anyway. And then uh, request a thing. Now, now, I, I can't be sure because of the low resolution, but if you look at the picture on that monitor, is that Mary and or Pippin? I can never remember. You love making me wait, don't you? Yes, I do. I can never remember Small which is which. Pleasures. But I think that's Mary, Mary and or Pippin. It's going to be really interesting when we get to the TV show part. Sizzle. I don't... I, I think that's a terrible name for soda. In here, Jack. Going up. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on... He's going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Hey, look, it's a presentation. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. I, I believe Carnuffle. Progress. Code, yeah. That would... Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. <laughs> Spiciest soda. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress, time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles. I think that has to be him. Joyce particles, which fill and all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. It feels weird to... All right, let's do this. Slow roll me on. So this is about quantum physics. Time travel. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. Wait, the city had changed. There we go. Paul changed. It didn't feel right being back. It was your hometown. In six years, you never felt any desire to return? There was always more keeping me away. I mean, I don't... If my family wasn't in Pittsburgh, I wouldn't go to Pittsburgh. Come on. Give me more... Selectable goodness. Over here, Jack. This is what I've been working on. Just hold your horses. There might be cool things. I was told to look for stuff, and I'm gonna look for stuff. Dang it. Music certainly has changed tone. Okay, let's go get time powers. I I just Welcome to Project Promenade. I'm just waiting for a We called the monkey Jack moment. We named the monkey Jack. Oh shit. You guys must have some budget. 
What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest Jack. discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Who is they? Wait, so we're just going to run the experiment? Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Okay, so this email is says Monarch is buying up all the Chronon specialists, and... Um, so we need to do the experiment to prove that we have it because of all those dang Chronon specialists that Monarch is buying up. But why do I get the feeling Jack, that he runs Monarch I knew I could count on you. because of time travel? Alright, what's this say? Uh, that's me emailing back and forth about, hey, I'm flying you out here to do secret bad science. Um... Oh, I was in Vietnam, then I was going to Thailand. We haven't talked to Will in six years. <laughs> Not to brag, but they recently deemed this city the coastal... Oh, uh, the coastal Detroit of America. And, Abby, the reason you weren't alerted is because you had lab that could still be going on. So, you know. Uh, we start off with this by the character telling us how the game ends. So, spoilers. Oh, and we already saw an Alan Wake thing. So you can go back and look at that later. Um, okay, dokie. You've talked well, at me the about this. A better question might be, when does it lead? <laughs> well, that's deep. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. <laughs> yes. Years ahead of our time. Oh yeah, that's right, we were texting. Listen, I'm very tired. I work out, I worked out very hard. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. That's the lever we need to push, but I want to look at the... Okay, there's nothing really in here. Let's crank this. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. Field is contained. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Let's get our time powers. 
Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Well, that's weird looking. The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. Moderately. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. I don't know. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? Oh, by the way, I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this. We're retelling Jack. the story. It's gonna be amazing. We're 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 retelling the story of the game to someone who's interviewing us at the end. All right, where are we going? I expect roughly none of this. I don't know. <clears throat> Take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. To activate the corridor, Jack. Jack. Anyway. Or just read through my personal emails instead. No hurry. Yes. This is what I do. Okay. I take key. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm I don't know what I'm getting yelled at for now by Abby. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. All right. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Well, it works. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. I thought you were in class. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking. I'm pretty sure we shouldn't. Punches. You shouldn't touch your. Self across Imagine the implications. The time. We can warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Otherwise, yeah. it'll cause a yes. paradox. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. <laughs> we did it. Well, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. You make a very good point. Five minutes to the future. Oh, I was gonna be like, when's he gonna come out? But he already did come out. That's that's smart. 
That's smart. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Yeah. You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 stop it. We got shut ourselves up. a okay, hobbit. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Well, shut up. Look shut at me. up. Look at me. Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. Man, we just got blasted with time. Turns out time is polygons. No one's concerned that time is frozen for everything, not you. This doesn't I concern people. I hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. No, it didn't fly by, Abby. It exploded. What the hell? Let's see. He didn't get special time powers. This is crazy. It's a neat effect. Will. Well, Don't break him. Jack. Hey, Will. Zero state. What have we done? Zero state, apparently. She warned me. I knew she was right. All this time. Been avoided. We're too late. The time spider makes the most sense. Uh, well, we better get you out. Come on. It's jammed. This wasn't supposed to happen. The fix up. Stutter. Collapsed. Okay, here comes Monarch Security. Monarch is the evil corporation. Jack! There's no other way up. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Jack! Alright. Come on! Got a secret hatch. I didn't want to leave Paul. But there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Hurry. Ooh, doing the cool ladder slide. I've always wanted to try that, but I've also always been worried about falling flat on my ass. Fire. What the hell? Hurry! This way! Alright. Ooh, we gotta do the squeeze. Gotta load a new room. We double timed it. Oh, gotta load cutscene. Jack. Your hands. Gotta keep moving. I don't have the one ring. I told you already. No. Uh, we got time powers. That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. 
Jack. Your proximity to the pulse. It, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will. What I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. I'll try to explain, but we have to go. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, <coughs> then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. That's what? the best explanation. Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. At 4.28 a.m. Exactly. Stay back. I'll get it open. So... HQ, securing the Will, server. Over. More of them. Hide. Okay. I think that... Uh, that... Little finger... In here. Got sent back through time. I warned Paul about this. Paul. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes. A gun. A universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out of <laughs> You... I have no idea what you're talking about, but you probably assumed I wouldn't. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... That is fair. You aren't the one. Yeah, see, you already. You knew. You knew I wouldn't. You have no context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. Here's my prediction. It's bigger than us. Can't make it personal. Littlefinger got sent back in time trying to kill us, and Will. founded Monarch. It's goddamn person. Listen. Getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Really, that's the hill you're gonna die on, Abs? The fact that that you still call me Johnny. Ninety-five percent of people call me John at this point. Ooh. Opportunity to look at the computers. Ha ha! There's a file. All right. Hey James. Uh, Paul Serene had to go through every step of activating the machine in detail for over three hours. Uh, what about Doctor Joyce? All that stuff he said about how we won't be able to stabilize a Chronon field. What if he's right about the miscalculations? Uh, I don't understand the implications if there is an error, but Joyce seemed to think that's serious business. I tried to look up an overview of the figures today, but all the files have been locked out by someone named Martin Hatch from Monarch Solutions. I know they put some money into the project, but do they seriously have that much authority over that us? I'm confused. Now, Mr. Hatch is... Mr. Hatch is potentially... Wow, I missed like five things in the last in the last section. Anyway, Mr. Hatch is potentially time is only gonna get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? Mr. Door. First, we have to get to my car. Mr. Door that um Look at this. It's the goddamn paramilitary out there. And we're the target. Mr. Door that Dylan Faden What's their chopper talks with? about. I got why did that break? What? Stuff's falling. Stuff's falling off shelves. Stuff. Did... Is that a bug or is is that time breaking? All right, do the door thing. Will get out! Oh God! 
Target's armed. Opening fire. Let me use Okay. We're actually gonna get to do something. I didn't need the slow up. Oh, we got more. Oh, it's not explosive. Also, why do they know who I am? Are you okay? I think so. Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. They weren't that good, though, so... Really, you should count yourself lucky. Let's get I swear here. I saw that jitter. Ooh, SMG. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Ooh, here we go. Always positive that the experiment would work. But the figures were correct. That's, yeah, that math looks, that math figures. The specialists were a bunch of goddamn idiots. Their formulas were missing these variables entirely. You're seriously making corrections right now? Well, if they made them in the first place, we wouldn't be here. I did a quantum ripple. So I just affected the TV show that we're going to watch eventually. That's nifty. I dig it. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide. Not again. Take him down. Watch out. These guys are wearing both uniforms. One arc. What the hell is my arc You tell me. Hey. For once, this isn't my fault. Circle around. Hey, the other Joyce is here too. That was slow. The other Joyce? Which Joyce are they here for? There we go. Where's the last one? Let's try the new That's cool. Uh, I just time farted. Uh, I just time farted Time's again. Up again. No surprise. We have to go. Team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. The machine? Why would they be the after way. a machine that could control time? That doesn't make any sense. But what if there's a good thing over here? Like that. Look, it's a good thing. All right. Oh, about the library protest. Jack, in here. So hold on! Uh, check it out. I was looking for key people among the protesters in case we need to get some leverage. It's a bit of a crapshoot. It's not like they have an official website or an org chart or something. But one of them had her email address on a poster, so I took a look at her inbox. Totally a great use of my time and expertise, by the way. These people are so interesting and not at all boring me to death. Amy Farrow's in charge. She's not a real chain of command, but she's calling the shots. And if we wanted to grab someone so we could spin this later, she'd be the one. She's got a family we can lean on. Uh, yeah, now go on with your bad self and get ready to, I don't know, do whatever it is you manly man types do before conducting an illegal clandestine paramilitary operation. Lift weights. Arm wrestle, smear some camo paint on each other's faces. Alright, and then we have a bunch of stuff about the protest. Alright, now I'm coming to the elevator. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I I need. We need to get to my car. Okay, just just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What? Ah, we broke time again. Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. So let me try. Oh. Will? Oh, crap. 
frozen again. I got a hold. It's a hold, not a tap. My bad. Can I unfreeze him? Somehow I can focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. Oh, I can't kill these about guys. All of us. Can I take his gun? Oh, that's hilarious. I can just walk up to them and take their guns. That's genius. That's absolutely genius. What's this? Uh, work in conjunction with Prowler Squad for this operation. Martin Hatch assures me that you already know your roles. There's no room for error on this. Alright. It's their cover plans. And they're ready to kill anyone. Including both of us. And they need the core of the time machine. That's what they're there for. Excuse me. Deliver core to ground zero operation. That doesn't sound good. We don't know how long this will last. Let's go. Haha, -ha, I found all the narrative objectives. I'm Where's gonna take your all your guns. This way. Because I find it hilarious. Oh wow, they're just they're grabbing all the pro What the heck is going on there? That's, that's some sky. Take your guns. I'm going I to help you. Come get on way. Way. It, That's going to be a time ripple for sure. She's not freezing. Oh, no. It worked on you. Why isn't it working on the others? I don't know. It may have to do with chronon exposure. Look at them all. It's a goddamn invasion. What are they doing? Why? I mean, she does make a really good point, Joe. She makes really good cookies. They're taking everybody, every witness to what they've done. Well, I'm taking all of their guns. Wait a second. Joe, the TVs are different. Wait, the TV's gone. Now they're two computers. That's where the Alan Wake video was. We can get to the parking lot through the ledge hall. I'm gonna have a you lot of rifle ammo. You were for this. You knew it was gonna happen. Pal. Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. But but who is Beth Wilder? Is she pretty? This is a lecture hall. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna be here for a minute. Is collapsed. That is true, Joe. For now. You do come to my movies. So I can build oh, no, a no. My car. thing of references. Controlling the parking lot. Oh god, that's it's Okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Okay. So, Alice Wake, A Wake, did he murder her? The muse, but stranger than him. Fickle, muse leaves him. She can survive without him, he cannot survive without her. After he banishes her in anger, regrets it. Thomas Zane, the poet, writes about Wake. Wake, writer, writes about Zane. Who made who real? <laughs> Wait, Eternal Closed Loop, Ouroboros, ah, uh, Alan Wake Exper- AWE, Alan Wake Experiment, Altered World Events, House of Dreams, that's the website, Clues. What? They're bringing House of Dreams into this? Loophole, a shoebox, the safe, I only place that can't be altered, the clicker, child's fear of the dark, symbol of safety, Mr. Mr. Scratch, but the scratch is 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 scratched out. Old Scratch is the devil. Old Norse 
Scrate is demon when the writer is trapped in the dark place, i.e. mad, who wears his face, his dark side. Brutal, hateful editor-critic who defiles, who defiles the artist's work is Mr. Scratch. Duality. He's a mad, he's mad, urban reason, psychological... <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, harsh light of reason banishes creative reality. Which one is light? Which one is darkness? Madness or vice versa, depressing reality. By turning back to Dr. Hartman's diagnosis, he accepts the reality of the supernatural, ascend to become the hero, or he turns his back to the reality and embraces the madness and descends. To reach the surface, you must first dive deeper. Uh, dark place, dark presence, dark matter, dark energy, 95% of the universe. Who made our world? Supernatural, wild superstition, ignorance. It's, it's really happening. A creator, let there be light. Spiral into the depths. And that's a symbol on the freaking doors in the, in the, the motel in control. Okay, Cauldron Lake. Which is Cauldron? Barbara, Barbara Jagger, Baba Yaga, Bird Lake Cabin, Slavic Folklore, The Dark Place, Deep Waters of the Writer's Subconscious Mind. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. William Blake's Augurs of Innes Innocence, Cauldron Lake, Endless Steps, Endless Night. The Meaning of the Christmas Lights, Birth of the Savior, The Hero's Journey, Departure is the first manuscript. Initiation, return. Question mark for initiation. Then three, return. The second manus manuscript, which is the name of the, which is the name of the final of the, of the second manuscript that he's writing in the dark place right now. That was Buckwild. There's so much to unpack there. Even things we understand now. Altered world events, the spiral, like, what the freaking heck? But then there's math on the same board. <sighs> same room. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. I don't think it's AWE. I think that it's what he did in the dark place. Here, you'll need the keys. I'll need the keys, yes. Sure, you hobbit. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. I think the initiation maybe is something he did in the dark place. You know how he's going crazy? Like, that's what he was doing off screen time vision what the hell my powers were growing I started to sense things premonitions echoes from the past just got orders from monarch actual they want us to find a car belonging to william joyce while we're here got a plate number it's coming it's probably four trump or some shit Do I have stealth attacks? Engage! Nope! Let's try that. Time vision. There's the last guy. Seven different parking lots and you just had to pick this one. Oh, who's shooting at me? Time vision. You're shooting at me. Where's your car, Will? AWE is part of what he did in the dark place. Or or is control his initiation. Past. Will, arriving at the university. Okay. Here here's an I gotta pause this for a second. Theory. Control. Spoilers for anyone who's not already neck deep 
in the remedy verse if you happen to show up here control is the initiation because that was his first time totally buck wild making elements out of whole cloth of the universe you know with the power of the darkness maybe maybe so I do like the idea of protagonist vision. That would be good. Um, or don't waste your time looking for things vision. Uh, but so then if Alan Wake, if control is, is his initiation, that could also explain maybe why, why uh, the light now looks like him, maybe. I hope to God I'm not too late. That's why are you sauntering? I'm seeing the past. I hope to God I'm not too late. There we go. I hope I'm not too late. Let me walk slow. Oh shit! Oh sh yeah, I can cast Something stop time. Happens. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. You don't know what you're doing. Well. Uh, yeah, Abby, on that board, A W E. I gotta get back to him. Fast. I see. Oh, whoops! I'm getting shot from right there. I should probably get down. I missed. I die. Maybe not. I get really close to die. Why are you guys shooting at me from all the way up there? All right. All right. You guys are all the way up there. You're like actually out of my vision field. Not of the, the events of Control, but they mention AWEs, Abs. They mention AWEs. still be able to catch them. That is Jesse Faden's voice. That is Courtney Hope's voice. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Well... Well, there's well, an effing connection. Hold on, we had, we already had the brother Faden show up, body and voice. Now we have Courtney Hope show up, voice. I do not buy coincidence in that. No time's supposed to take William Joyce, Joyce alive, alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please, please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut, can the, shut hell the hell up. up. But just shut just the fuck up, up, all right? right. Boss said to take it to the library. It could be her face. I, I wasn't as convinced on that, but they could have just changed the hair. Well. <laughs> oh, new powers. Time dodge. <sighs> Sweet. 
Oh crap. Oops, I died. I'm still so I'm I'm so mind blown right now by her showing up as a out of context problem apparently. Freaking freaking Sam Lake. Shit. All right, let's switch to the big gun. Ooh, it slows down time when I come out of it. That's super useful. That's super useful. What the fuck is going on in there? Go, go, go! Okay, missed, but gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking you. All right, let's switch to the sub. Let's see if I like that any better. Um, I somehow use the likeness of the two as fiddle context for fate. Gotta keep like, moving, Jack. I actually okay. I actually understood exactly what you meant there, Abby. You meant that Wake seeing these events, however he sees things from the dark place is what he based the characters, or at least the physical likeness, of the Fadens on. That's possible. I bet you that... I think the actor's name is Lance Riddick. I bet you he's what's going to be the connection. Makes sense. Sense. Dragging this asshole, this asshole to the library? library? Airlift's, Airlift's already initiated. Initiate. Should be gone by now. Airlift. The time machine. Airlift. The time machine. Airlift. You taking the time, time machine? machine? Hey, hey. I said no talk. 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 He said, no talking. I understood you. What? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Ooh, who else do we have? Who else? Wait. What's going on? See you. All right, where's? Okay, I see one there. See two over there. Haha! I can mount things. Time delay does make things harder. Ooh, a heavy pistol. Okay, gotta get to the library. So only four shots. Oh man, that's got some kick. Going that way. Time vision's also great for figuring out which way I'm going. I think. Yeah. See there. No time to lose. I gotta get to work. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. 
I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Will. Okay, so library. this will explain why they're trying the way in. I gotta get to, him to destroy the library. Where did that come from? Hey. He's saying that, Abby, he's saying your word salad. He's saying your word salad is that is to poetry. Similar to um, the Hiss chant. It's like I'm not the only one with a grudge. Well, here I thought it was going to be a quiet night. But it sounds like things have taken a real bad turn down at the anti-monarch protest at Riverport University. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I've just heard about security personnel in the employee of Monarch Solutions detaining students. And some reports of gunfire. Now, I don't want to jump the gun here. This is unconfirmed, and obviously I don't know the details, but no matter how you slice it, it sounds like a bad scene. You know I'm not a big fan of Monarch or how they do things, but at the same time, I hope nobody's going overboard with this protest thing. It's just a goddamn building, people. It ain't worth anybody getting shot over. Although, if they are shooting people over, that's some heinous bullshit right there. Oh, he might be my new favorite remedy. Uh, that looks like a way up. New favorite remedy radio. Ah! What did I just? I climbed and stood on that post. I have superpowers that aren't time based. Uh, I get it. I gotta use time powers. Gotta slow that thing down somehow. Oh, that's what Joe was saying. I assumed you were making fun of Abby. My bad. Nailed it. Also, there's something a little ironic about a character who has time powers going, I don't have time for this. I also don't buy it. I think that that Jesse and Dylan time and space hopped to this dimension as part of a larger plan involving Lance Riddick. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the time machine core in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! Ah! What the hell is going on around here? Time vision! Activate! Guess we're going down that way. What do we got going over here? Abs. You, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. We got over. What are Will's brother is? There we go. Library is ready to blow. Now? See, that was precision shooting. Ammo already full. Okay, why did they buy the library? Blow it up with us in it, or maybe just Billy, Billy boy, William old pal. Uh oh. Jack, run. New time power? Heck yeah! And you see that? There's another control, uh, control reference. I pressed control to take control of the character. 
Not and not that I know of abs. But that doesn't mean there's not one. Alright, let's see. Ooh, now we got explosive barrels. Oh, sh shoot, it actually stopped my bullets in there. Uh, not exploded Fine. yet. I like this heavy pistol. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Uh. Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the frag. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I mean, in fairness, it was fairly obvious. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. Time to come up. Why are they still shooting? Said they wanted to take us alive. I think they changed their minds. <laughs> I'm glad you two enjoy arguing so much. We have to get to my briefcase. Then it's an, find it's always father. pleasant to look over, Why? see what you're debating. Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? Oh. Shotgun. We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. What's this? Just more gun. Okay, let's go to the briefcase. Oh, we have to talk. Do I have to talk to you? No, okay, we're good. The, uh... I want to see what this TV show looks like. Let's move before more of them show up. We're working on it, Will. Jack! It's Paul Serene! He's the leader of Monarch! Who told you that 40 minutes ago? Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. I'm sorry, Jack. No! no! Paul, what happened to you? What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years? It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. 
But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. He is a lot better with the powers than us. But he's had 17 years. Trigger. I never wanted this. Are we not even going to get him in the TV show? We finished an act. But also now I have to go back to listen to Labyrinth. And son of a bitch, was there? Son of a bitch. Okay. Um, now I have to go and listen to Labyrinth and figure out what secret parts of the story are hidden in there. Ridiculous. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would... Okay, you guys are totally reactions. right. That's Jesse's face. That's Courtney Hope's face. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I think what honestly threw me off is that I've it doesn't have nearly as many polygons. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Wait, we're playing as now Paul? I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. All clear, sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. That was unexpected. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind... The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. <gasps> you can use this to actually find the collectibles. That's excellent. It's my stupid... I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch Headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. Alright, so notable qualities of William... Our friendly hobbit. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Uh, undiagnosed schizophrenic. Explain the situation in more detail. Yeah, we'll get to him. Hold on. Of course. Erratic behavior, highly intelligent. Received warnings of fracture, capital F, from unknown female source. May have received knowledge of chron chronon related monarch operations. Will refuse to accept the inevitability of the end of time. And a bunch of stuff about how he will be caught. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. 
The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Okay, so it released a bunch of Chronon energy. In the center, you you need to have lots of clearance. Clearance level six. Sounds familiar. Um, and then levels of symptoms. Library. Serene brought down the whole building just to take out that geek. Stone cold, man. Talk about making a point. All right, Jack Shh, Joyce. He's listening. <laughs> we had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future, which made it clear that could change very soon. History of violent behavior, lack of respect for authority figures, no knowledge of the Fracture or Monarch operations. Onsi onset of Fracture will render Jack Cronon enabled, may possess low-level Cronon abilities, and apprehend him. What other... anything else to... no? Okay. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Um. Say what now, what now? Paul. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Okay. Uh, junction power reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each junction point will steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Choose wisely. Uh, what happens if we look at Hardline? Potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. Trusted monarch. But the people of That's Riverport Dylan Faden would again. turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Well, let's confirm that one. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. 
That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Well, that's spoopy. 100% of my friends, all one who's played this, agreed with my choice and 76% of the community. The other 24% were playing it again to get the achievement that's probably there for making the other choice. Oh, wait. Are we in TV show land now? It's kind of fuzzy. Okay, we're in TV show land now. And somehow this is actually okay to stream. The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I'm so glad we could work this out. I'm a little tired of this shaky cam. <clears throat> wow, that's some bad compression. The darks are not happy against each other. So this is actually streamed. Really? Walk with me. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. That could be Abby. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And what is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? 
You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. It's a glass table. Tell me what's next, Brenner. I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY send Stan a note with some of his private pics. And last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, I packed into his camera. I'm I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. I don't like this guy. I wonder if we'll ever see time powers show up in the live action stuff. Because <clears throat> that would increase costs significantly. Her from something like a bit part. I'm sorry. I just. I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Oh, no. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> what? I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> We're supposed to see that he's a big, nice family man who likes making out with his wife in bed. It's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to learn here yet. It's okay, go. <sighs> yeah. Bert, you gotta lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport. Yes, oh, Sam Lake predicted <laughs> predicted cats. Inside ground zero perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Beyond anything mankind has seen, along with
Oh, that's an Alan Wake book on the on the um in order to rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past. Oh, you just got time powered. They did put the time powers in the book. Or in the book. In the TV show. That's not it's not bad effects. I mean it's not great effects. But it's better than I was expecting. Man. Cats on repeat. I don't know if I could take that kind of horror. Unless it was the butthole cut. Okay, the effects are less impressive now. research and design and with monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in riverport it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us hold there's been a development jack you've already seen it tonight on the island he'll be there and he'll want revenge i need him stopped now i think our focus may be somewhat misguided to you your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last This is also longer than I was expecting. Now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. Two bacon and egg sandwiches. Oh, like a thanks. We really appreciate your bravery going yeah, she was on British, I think. What appears to be such a dangerous person. I was over in the lab at the university this morning. Someone saw the equation. Huh? I wonder if that's going to continue on. And keep the people of Riverport safe as this very unsettling story continues to unfold. We have to recognize everybody twice now. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> Uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. I feel like I've seen her in something, too. What are you gonna too. wear? 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so see you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. If he shows up naked, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be displeased. Buddy. This really does just go on for a long time. There's Jesse Faden. didn't give me enough polygons. Liam, this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman for shit. No. No! Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding to I did not to give home. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take You're us. Right. We'll never find a lifeboat. Think about Emily. About the, uh. Just relax. Leo, the younger shut up! 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 Shut what is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Man, she's even doing protagonist stuff off on the side. Runny egg. Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. Holy shit. Lambert. <sighs> gotcha, buddy. Patch is gonna love this. Oh shit. The fucking golden boy. Well, I mean, gotcha. It's not just down the end of all time. You want to, like, get past the end of time, I guess? To when time starts again, or or live through the Charlie. collapse and be in timelessness. I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, I'd really rather not. In your office would be good. It'll be 
be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh, there's nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. I wonder if Thank you. this is calculated into the playtime estimates. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Oh, speaking of playtime. So, listen up, he's on level B. Dying like two developers overpass. have come out and said to experience everything to 100% the game is going to be roughly 500 hours of play. Which is just silly to me. Although they did say that one playthrough doing all of the side quests and really engaging with all the activities is like 70 to 90 hours. So it must be like divergent paths to see everything you have to yeah. replay and replay and replay. And replay and replay and replay. Fucking idiots! Damn, stop! Yeah, I still don't like the tech guy. Man, they got a stunt choreographer and everything to do this stuff? Shame that they did it. He's not invincible. He's not a fucking superhero. Mid to uh, mid 2010s Brenner, style. I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. That is Nissan. Totally broke okay, my he's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. This is a long action sequence for a video game. <laughs>
Third Street. He's headed to the alley. Copy that. He can't do it. But also, what a terrible way to end that chase scene. All right. Okay. Um, I think that I'm going to end that there. Because that was a lot of TV show. Then we're going to have a whole other section, probably with Sean Ashmore, doing time stuff. And then with Littlefinger making decisions through time and all of that. So we're going to end it here. Um, yeah. that was There was a lot there. There was a lot there. We're going to have lots to theorize with. Especially because of that freaking whiteboard. And Jesse Faden being in this. Um, but I will catch you guys later. I'll talk to you guys later and... I'll figure out the next time I'm going to stream this and let you guys know.